Stage to them, my dear. <laughs> what a show! Well, thank you for your efforts, Memo Keeper. Quite a brilliant move to pit enemies against each other. When I first saw the ranger and the hunter together, my heart skipped a beat. <laughs> I never thought you'd successfully trigger a conflict between the two. As promised, I've delivered the child to you. Our transaction is complete. Looks like our nameless friend over here is still confused. Let me explain. In short, you need to thank this lady here, my friend. Not only did she not betray you, on the contrary, she rescued you. From that galaxy ranger. Right. <laughs> I do enjoy seeing that shocked expression of yours. My friend, let's be honest. That woman named Acheron isn't as simple as you thought. Did she say she's a galaxy ranger? She's actually an emanator who brings death and finality. Well, perhaps the hunt, or destruction, or even finality. It doesn't matter. These paths all point to the same outcome. Let me give you some IPC insider information, my friend. Do you know Duke Inferno? Fatora's Ifrit? Nicely done, as expected. I'll cut to the chase then. This Duke Inferno is a fire demon from Fatora. He's an energy life form, and it's rumored that his birth is related to a certain genius. He and his thugs formed Everflame Mansion and viewed Nanook as their savior. In actuality, they were led by this duke to go around burning and looting, practicing the will of destruction. And even the other Annihilation gangs weren't spared. I'm not sure what the family was thinking, or perhaps someone was scheming behind the scenes. But, shockingly, these characters received an invitation. And why would the Everflame Mansion decline? They harbor fierce intentions, swearing to turn the planet of festivities into a sea of blazing flames. But there's no need to worry. <laughs> they won't be able to attend. Do you know why? Because Ifrit is dead. They were eliminated on their way. 
the assailant, demonstrating remarkable expertise, ruthlessly ended Ifrit and swiped the invitation that the Annihilation Gang had in their possession. The Everflame Mansion disbanded, each going their separate ways. Thereafter, a mysterious Galaxy Ranger arrived on Panacone, checking into the hotel with only a music box. <laughs> Do you still need me to continue the story, my friend? The Galaxy Rangers come and go like shadows, and there's little communication between them. Her story is almost too perfect. If she remains silent, there's no concrete evidence against her. While the IPC can investigate, it'll take some time. So, my friend, the choice is yours now. You can leave this place immediately, without looking back, and forever forsake the chance to get closer to the truth. Or, you can accept my invitation and learn a truth. A truth potent enough to upend everything in Peniconi. I need your help, so I'll wait, but not for long. Once you are ready, follow me. As for aligning with me, see the truth first, then decide. You'll still have time. Acheron is the emanator of a particular eon? Can I really believe venturing? But he gave me a choice. Maybe I should talk to Black Swan again. My, my. You look like a small, injured animal. Are you still willing to talk to me? Of course, I'm still willing to be your psychotherapist. I admit I made a transaction with that gentleman to bring you before him, but this is also a safe place. He needs you. It's essential if we want to reclaim Panacone. Recognizing his immense potential and the invaluable memories he can help me gather, I opted to join forces with him. In Panacone, everyone may be lying. And yes, that includes me. I can't deny this, nor do I seek forgiveness. But do you still remember? I said, I have faith in your potential, and that's not a lie. The Garden of Recollection wants to witness the future of the Astral Express trailblazing the cosmos. And as for these memories, I will treasure them. I do not have reasons to hurt any of you. Instead, I will continue to assist you. Provided you are willing to accept my assistance. My take on this might surprise you. In my view, he's a trustworthy individual. Not for any other reason, but because he's an exceptional businessman. In this vast universe, no one values honesty in contracts more than a merchant. But, always be on guard. Particularly when making agreements with him. Scrutinize the details. Beyond the confines of the contract, your rights are off his radar. He'll go to extreme lengths to ensure his advantage. I still believe that Miss Firefly's situation is deeply connected with the Stellaron Hunter, just as we speculated. But, as you've heard, Aventurine has his finger pointed at the Galaxy Ranger. I can't fathom why he'd draw that conclusion, but given his access to the IPC's intelligence network, we should seriously consider his perspective. Moreover, I believe Miss Acheron is also hiding something. No. In fact, I should say she's hiding everything from us. It was an unexpected finding from an earlier encounter. With regards to the Annihilation Gang, I can also prove that what Aventurine said was the truth. 
That's why, during this golden soiree, she is the dance's centerpiece. Why, of course. But now is not the time. I know you are confused. And... sad. Whoever that girl might have been. A living soul. A memory that was meant to last. She simply vanished. Like the dissolution of bubbles and water. Disappearing in an instant. No matter what, I hope you can trust Aventurine. Or rather, trust me and see the truth with your own eyes. This can lead us deeper into the secrets behind Benaconi. I will protect you. Once I gather more information from him, I'll make sure you're safely returned to your companions. For the truth, and to prevent more unnecessary sacrifices, it is the right choice. Perhaps he plans on doing so, but I won't. The Garden of Recollection has eyes everywhere. If he wants to hurt you, he'll have to fight against the Memo Keepers. I've warned him about that. Later, I'll stay by your side as a memetic entity, just in case. Time to set off. Go and meet Aventurine? Or... I could still choose not to help. Keep at her! Keep at her! Excellent. I knew you would come. By the way, about that memo keeper... <sighs> Never mind. I won't press the issue further. I've said before you can liaise with your companions, or even twist the narrative against me. I'll wholeheartedly embrace it. It signifies your potential. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. So, my friends... Don't let me down. Please, this way, if you will. Oh, right. I remember mentioning something after that. What was it again? <laughs> a familiar hallway, a familiar room. Do you remember? Last time we met was right here. This is it, just beyond this door. Take a deep breath and get ready. Oh, I remember. My friend. After that, we played an enjoyable game. Tell me, doesn't this feel eerily familiar? I remember everything now. This was what I told you at that time. Look, friend, the game has already begun. Allow me to make you an offer, one you can't refuse. No reason to choose otherwise, and no other choices. back. How is your preparation for the performance coming? It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine? 
<laughs> no, no, this is not good. You're the pride of the family. And don't let those unnecessary emotions affect your perfect pitch. I... no. Brother, you seem to be in low spirit. What's happened? Is it because of the watchmaker's guest list? Yes. I received the report that... death had taken some of them. Perhaps someone was behind it. I'm sorry, I forgot you just came back. You probably wouldn't know about it. Somehow, a nightmare called death has descended upon Panacone, striking indiscriminately, bringing spiritual death to all equally. In the utopian dreamscape envisioned by the family, such sorrowful incidents shouldn't arise. It profoundly undermines the equilibrium and serenity of the dreamscape. How detestable. I can't believe this has happened. Was... someone killed again? Yes. There were two. One was a stowaway, uh, the other... was you. That's enough, fool. Your deeds have saddened me. Pretty sharp, aren't you, chicken wing boy? The Odes of Harmony talks about honesty. The words of a fool begins with foolishness and end in treacherous arrogance. Please leave. Their dreamscape doesn't welcome you. Oh, come on, lighten up. Why so serious with all the quotations and references? I'm just curious. Now things have come to this. Is the family still unwilling to fight? I mean, your darling sister's already a goner, right? Really? <laughs> Don't tell me you're not craving a little vengeance. It's not yet time. When the fated day arrives, I shall mete out justice with unyielding righteousness. Wow, you can endure that much? Truly a heart of ice you've got there. Hey, maybe we could actually get along. How about this? I'll stand in for your dear sister at events. <laughs> Surely you don't want the world to hear the Charmony Festival's been called off. The family has a plan. And do not dishonor my dear sister with your deceitful tongue again, fool. All right, all right. Just putting it out there. If you're ever in a pinch, remember, I've got your back. I mean... Who could resist a guy rocking spikes on his wings? <laughs> There's no need. The Malefactor has been exposed under their radiant gaze, and will soon fall by their own machinations. Should the transgressor fail to turn away from this path, their sword will be honed, their bow strung, Causing the malevolence the perpetrator spreads to befall them. And when that time comes, the heathen will realize they're but a mere mortal, doomed to descend into the netherworld. And I... I will join their vanguard to announce this good news to you personally, Watchmaker. It's getting late. Where to now? <laughs>